What's up, YouTube? What's up, Extreme Gains family? I'm Chuck. This is Extreme Gains. I am not a financial advisor. Nothing I say is or ever will be financial advice. Please do not take it as such. Today is Tuesday, May 3rd, 2022. This is the AMC, GME, and SPY Elgo Exposed daily update and preparation video for tomorrow and beyond. As always, I hope you had a great day in the market today. I hope you were able to capitalize on the volatility in the market and make some moolah today. As always, as well, both discords, premium and general, both knocked out of the park. So congratulations to everybody and congratulations to you if you were able to do the same. I want to go over all the regulars that I go over briefly here. That's my snake, algo, and method for AMC, GME, and SPY, as well as macro comparatives. So with all of that said, let's dig in. On your screen is AMC and my snake, algo, and snake, algo method, the intra-week snake. AMC finished today green 1.64%, down 0.32% in after hours at 15.46% intraday high of uh it was up just over five percent today uh, around uh 10 o'clock this morning started a heavy run to the upside it really got heavy around one o'clock and got a good push there in that one hour candle from one o'clock on uh and then it pulled back here at the end of the day so uh we did divert from the previous snake the snake that i had in here i talked about this in last night's video that i was potentially uh expecting and anticipating a diversion from this to the upside if it were not to fulfill and i talked about how i would go back and potentially clip those so with that if you need context please go back to that now there are two potential new snakes that i'll be looking at i'm going i'm going to go ahead and shrink this into where it ended and diverted from now that we've all seen that the diversion happened here so one of two things happens i either clip and what i've done and this is just what i do y'all what i've done in the past i clip from the uh the day of diversion and the day prior to diversion so here is the day prior to diversion and i put it on here like so right there and then here's the day of diversion, meaning today. And I will put this on there like that. And I want you to see this green one. And it's green for a reason. I want you to see the matchup on that so far. Not bad, right? For the overlap, projection, and fulfillment. This one too, it doesn't mean that it's it. I'm just saying, I just wanted you to look at it. I mean, stick with me. So that's both of them. What's the rest of that look like? Well, let's zoom out and take a look. That's what I'm looking at as potential new snake. One of the two is what I'm potentially thinking moving forward tomorrow and beyond. Now, I will validate and or invalidate one of these as soon as I can. However, zooming back in, looking at the one hour, the projections from these from the blue one which would be day prior to diversion looks like a move back up to the 16 dollars area some consolidation throughout going into tomorrow morning and then a downside flush tomorrow the green one looks like same thing some consolidation throughout here underneath 16 dollars it what it appears to be is a w formation and then a move back up to $16 tomorrow morning consolidation around the $16 and then a heavy move to the upside now that timing as you know isn't always spot on this is initial placement for both of these and as I've explained forever in these videos initial placement is everything with these especially with the macro comparatives and the interweek snakes one little move can really throw things off on the micro so uh meaning the timing and or the price level so that is up for debate right now and if i need to make adjustments uh midstream i will do that and we will discuss it tomorrow but right now placing them uh that is where i'm gonna place them and that's what i'm looking at potentially from both of them moving forward into tomorrow and beyond the macro comparative 
for AMC is the macro double double from prior to the January 2021 run up. And where we have been, let me move the yeller out of here real quick so you can see that first. Where we are and where we have been in the last few weeks is right here, running down the macro descending third pool in my box top method. We've been literally grinding right down it. Now we got that bounce up off of it today, which was expected, which I'm gonna show you in a minute. But I talked leading up into this about this inverted mirror and then potentially this invert mirroring this double top in a bottom formation and this replicated clip from here over here is what i was seeing happening and that is what it has been fulfilling ever since i recognized it and put it on there around two weeks ago i talked to you about two potential positions of this this one here being the original one that i've been showing on and showed right out of the gate and the indication from it was the short-term upside move here prior to rejection and back downside and i talked about rejection at around the 16 dollars area and then back downside so far that's what it's done it fulfilled this in the macro uh, to the t today the indication in this position obviously from this is downside now this rejection fulfilled now downside uh, it looks to be down to potentially the $14 area, then consolidation, and then down to the next level, which looks and appears to be anywhere between 13 and 13.50. Now, the secondary placement of this that I talked to you about in the last couple of videos is like this, and that is assuming that this bottom is in and that it was invert mirrored here. And price action was going to start this ascending level consolidation on the way up. And the indication and projection from it as of last night moving into today was exactly how it fulfilled today. This is where that was at when I talked to you in last night's video and talked about this making a move to the upside and then showing this consolidation throughout but in an ascending manner. That is potentially what I'm looking for from these macro comparatives the indication from this moving into tomorrow looks to be maybe this flash down to around the 1450 area and then back up and then consolidation throughout if it even fulfills that flash down i'm more interested in seeing the fulfillment of the consolidation in this channel that i put here between 16 dollars and 1530 so that's what i'm looking at and again that's not all tomorrow just this first portion is uh tomorrow till right here so that's what i'm looking at with macro comparatives for amc gme the snake on gme was from last week's pool i am also potentially um expecting and anticipating a diversion from this however i left it on here for the time being uh because it fulfilled and it did not divert from this yet it fulfilled in its entirety spot on today if it were to continue fulfilling in this position it's obviously indicating an upside move tomorrow and it looks to be uh maybe up to about 144 tomorrow in its entirety all of tomorrow's movements if it were to fulfill in that manner if it diverts tomorrow before i receive a new snake tomorrow i will be clipping today which would indicate an upside move so that's a good sign if i get a new snake tomorrow prior to diversion i'll be using tomorrow's clip as my potential new intra week snake that's gme now spy oh and by the way how about those micro intraday snakes y'all for those of you that have already caught on to that and are checking it out yourselves how about those micro snakes is this not crazy it's crazy y'all anyways the spy macro comparative is from the 0809 correction and crash in the red here and it's been coined as the extended version and in this version it has fulfilled it's been a projected suggested path for quite some time as you just saw it has projected and fulfilled let me move this out of here this was from today's micro the potential new snake intra-week snake is right here 
and I placed this on here yesterday and got fulfillment out of it yesterday and I still believe I got fulfillment out of it today it's still in range obviously the indication from this here at some point would be this downside move in this descending channel uh, it could potentially go short term upside prior to downside but obviously the um, indication and the general perspective of the next movement would be in this channel to the downside here the macro comparative is showing something a little bit different i talked about this in the video last night it is essentially showing an upside move in an upside ascending consolidation way and that is what it has started doing since friday last week once it hit the bottom here thursday and friday it started this grind up uh characteristic so far it's only been those two days of four hour candles and that's what we're viewing this on so there's quite a bit of uh trading session to go on here but i talked in last night's video about the potential expectation from this would be uh an upside move at some point and then this consolidation in an ascending manner like that so that is what i am looking for from the macro comparative perspective uh and then obviously you see the current position of this snake that i just clipped um two days ago for the potential new snake for projections moving forward intra week so that's what i'm looking for uh with amc with gme and with spy if you made it to the end of the video i thank you very much do y'all's thing like you always do i appreciate it greatly y'all slacked on me last night on it uh i would appreciate it if y'all would quick reminder i will be live here tomorrow morning for the stock market live stream starting at 9 a.m from market open to market close come by say hello i hope to see you all there enjoy the rest of your evening and i'll talk to you all tomorrow later